it is time to explain and interpret credit scores. If that doesn't make you excited, I'm not sure what will. So let's go ahead and advance the slides. First, what is a credit score? Well, a credit score is simply a number that is used by lenders to determine whether they should lend an applicant money. So when you go to buy a house, a car, you wanna finance a new fence, anything, these lenders look at your credit score to determine, are you worthy of being loaned money? Are you going to be dependable to pay it back in a timely manner? That is what they use your credit score for. So the impacts of the credit score. So basically they say, okay, we're gonna look at your payment history on all your debts. So any rent that you've paid, any horse, house payments, credit cards, all of that. Do you have a history of paying your bills on time? And what is your total amount of debt, right? If you owe $6 million to a lot of people, probably not good to take on more debt, but maybe you don't have much debt, that's great. Okay, so they also get your debt to credit ratio and you want this to be a low number because debt to credit, if it's a low number, that means you have uh, you have low debt compared to the amount of credit. So saying like, let's say like a credit card has $10,000 credit limit and you have it maxed out. Well, 10,000 over 10,000 is one, right? That would be considered the highest you could have because with ratios, it's basically a fraction, right? So if you had a $10,000 credit limit and you only had $1,000 on it, then your debt to credit ratio would be one to 10, right? That's low. Um, also the amount of time at your credit history. So if you just started accumulating a credit history, nobody knows anything about you yet and that can be a little tricky. So the sooner you can start having a positive credit history, the better because it shows you have um, good credit skills over time. Now there's multiple credit scoring models. Uh, the more most popular is probably the, the, the FICO. And you might've heard this. So there's three different reporting agencies. There's Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. These three all will report um, a credit score for you. And then it kind of is merge together to find your, your overall uh, FICO, your FICO score, okay? Um, and that's kind of how it's, it's done. So if you hear somebody say like, well, my experience score is this, but my Equifax score is this, they're just different reporting agencies that calculate all of those different things that we talked about on the previous slide, and they put it together to give you a score. Now, the average credit score um, is between 300 and 850. So if you have a credit score of 300, that, that's not so good. Um, the, that's the lowest you can be. And the larger your credit score, the, the larger the number, the better the credit score. And then the lower your interest rates. So if you think about this in terms of, uh, use my words, if you're going to go buy a car and your credit score is 850, well, they'll be like, man, this is amazing. We're going to give you like, 2% interest rate. Okay, great, because they know that you're gonna pay it back. This is great for them, whatever. If you come in and your credit score is 350, they're like, ooh, you're not, ah, you, you got all these other issues. You know, do you, uh, When I say issues, I mean like, maybe your payment history isn't great. Maybe you have a lot of debt. Maybe your debt to credit ratio is high, or maybe you just are now starting your credit history. That's what I mean by credit issues. Um, so if you have a low credit score, then they might say your interest rate is 12%. So it's kind of beneficial. If you have a higher credit score, you're going to have a lower interest rate and you're going to pay less in, uh, in interest. Okay, just thinking through this, person A has a total debt of 2560 and a total credit, lim credit limit of 9000. Person B has a total debt of 1750 and a total credit limit of 6700. Who is more likely to have a higher credit score? Well, with what we know, we only can find their debt to credit ratio. So let's do that. Let's find the debt to credit ratio for both person A and person B. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna put the debt over the credit and divide to get a decimal. Okay, so for person A on the left, we've got 2560 over 9000. When I divide that, I get a decimal of 
For person B, I take my 1750 of debt, put it over the credit limit of 6700, and my credit score when I divide, numerator divided by the denominator, of 0.261. So because person B has a lower debt to credit ratio, we would assume that person B has the higher credit score. So person B is the winner. Thanks for playing.